First, giving honor and glory to God, who is ahead of my life. It is only because of him that I live, move, and have my being. I just wanted to pop in here and tell y'all a little something that happened um, a couple of days ago, right? It happened on Sunday. Just about the intent, and God has been showing me a lot of um, just these past few years about the intent of the heart of people and how people really are and, you know, just... It's really, really heartbreaking at the end of the day, but at the very end of the day, these type of people lose every time. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're trying to play somebody, but in reality, you're the only one that's getting played. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, what is that? Piece of napkin tissue. So y'all... There was a girl at the homeless shelter, right? Um, I was packing it up and stuff and all that. And then um, it was really, really cold. And her baby daddy had the baby. And he had saw me in a parking lot. And he said, excuse me, ma'am, can you go pick up my baby mama and my daughter at the corner and take them across the street to the store? Sure, no problem. Get in the car, take her to the store across the way or whatever. And, you know, just talking to her and she's telling me about, you know, some things, how they ended up there in the shelter. I'm telling her, be encouraged. You know, I just got my place. Like, hold on. Like, God is good. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. like stay focused. Like, this place is a blessing. If you do what you got to do, like, they going to help you out. You know what I'm saying? Just be encouraged. All this, all that, right? So, we exchanged numbers. We ended up exchanging numbers or whatever. And then she ended up texting me, like, and I'm just encouraging her, letting her know that everything is going to be fine you know what i'm saying like i can speak you know what i'm saying like i'm a living testimony to be able to tell you like god is working this thing out so she said oh you know on sunday can you take me to this church um it's in Irving, which is 30 minutes away it's in Irving. y'all know dallas is big as hell so like everything is like super far away if you're asking me i'm from bakersfield a little bit little bit of country town so everything is far away far away <laughs> hey everything is far away I had a flashback of when I was out with somebody. I used to always say, hey, how far are we going? Is it far? Is it far? It's like, be quiet, girl. And just ride. So um, it's 30 minutes away. So I go take her. Sure, no problem. I was already kind of tired because I did all the moving and stuff the next day. But I'm like, if you, you don't have to go super early, I can take you. I don't want to get up real early because I just unloaded this truck and moved all this stuff up here by myself. Like, So I'm really not in the mood. But she was like, no, about noon. I'm like, okay, cool. I can do that get her take her i'm just encouraging her and we listen to music having a good time her baby daddy came and you know her two kids or whatever fine take her to go cash the check then she had to make another stop took her to go and but she tells me in a text message when she asked i'm gonna give you 20 dollars to um take me because i know it's in Irving, right so i'm like bet like i don't all of my money is spent on getting these kids this place so i don't have nothing and we need like bowls and you know little dollar tree things that i can pick up to get us until I get paid again on Friday, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. The $20 will be fine. Need a little bit more gas in my car and all that, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. So let me go make this little change. So take her and she halfway through the second stop, she grabs my phone and like, um, who is this? So um, midway through y'all, she gets my phone. Like, can I use your phone to put in, um, put in, put in the address to where we're going? Okay, cool. So she gets the phone and put in put in the address, right, or whatever. She puts in the address, which I ain't tripping, though, but the intent. It's not never what you do, it's how you do it. She puts in the address and um, the address of a check cashing place. PLS, a 24-hour check cashing place they got down here. So she puts that in there before we get to the destination where you want to go cash the check that I went to take you to go pick up. Okay, cool. Maybe that's how I'm going to get my money back. You go get the check. Then you we go cash the check. Then I take you to the next place where you got to go. Then we head back to the room. This is all, all in the day. It took three whole hours. Three whole hours. Take you, then I take you back to the room. Then we get out, take them back to the shelter. They ain't really getting out. And I hear him whispering something, something, something to her. And she like, well, why you didn't say that? Well, we was just out or whatever. She turned to me and I'm like looking at them like it's time to get out. Y'all, okay, bye. It was great. You know, have a good day. Bloop. <sighs> Can you take us across the street to um, the store so my baby daddy can go get some cigarettes? Sure. No problem. Take them across the street around the store to go get the cigarettes. Come back. 
she kind of hesitating and she looking around and she grabbing the baby and she in the back telling her baby daddy to get your daughter. She done fell asleep and, not, and just kind of like, and I'm looking and she kind of like moving slow and looking around and get out the car. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. And so when I, um, Cause I was like, dang, I knew that daddy was coming. I'm like, he, if he come in, I know I ain't got no friends or nobody to hang with or nothing, but I'm like, I'm just might get out that way. I don't have to deal with the kids. I can get out, get some fresh air, get dressed and didn't even do nothing though, but just rested. And, um, she gonna text me and say, uh, if you plan on getting out, let me know. LOL. I hit a couple corners with you. I text back and said, absolutely not for what? No, thank you. You didn't even give me the $20 to take you all around Dallas today. And then I blocked her. So I went up there today to go pick up some mail to see if they had some mail. I'm expecting some mail, see if they had some mail. And um, she was standing right there. And baby, I must have looked as if I didn't even know who she was. Don't even know you. Don't even, ain't never saw you before. A day in my life. Ain't, don't know who you are. Don't know nothing. Don't say nothing to me. And I won't say nothing to you. And then she got, it got awkward. She looking all around and stumbling around. And, uh, 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 uh. The thing is, you just screwed yourself out of somebody really, really great and genuine. Because what you fail to realize is I would have did this for you out the kindness of my heart. But because you said you had the money and you went and picked up a check and you had the money and you went and did whatever you did with the money that you had with what you got going on, you tried to play me and you ended up playing nobody but yourself. You know what I'm saying? The whole intent, you probably never even intended on giving me $20. But what you fail to realize is my help comes from the Lord. And what people fail to realize is why you think you plan somebody, God is actually testing you and testing your heart to see what you're going to do with it because that's how your blessings come about. Duh. He's testing your heart posture. You failed. You failed the test, just like so many other people that have come into my life. You came into my life. God allowed me to come into your life because I am a light. I am a light in a dark place. I am chosen by God. Don't want to be chosen by God, but I am chosen by God to do his will and to say the things that he wants me to say and to be used in such a way that he wants me to be used. And so I'm chosen. And so he allows me to come into different people's lives. But the problem is people try to take advantage of the kindness that's on your heart and that you wear your heart on your sleeve and they try to play you for a dummy because of who you are. And in reality, God is watching them to see what they're going to do with his chosen ones to determine their outcome. So you just failed your test for your outcome and my outcome. Now I'm going to be elevated because I passed my test. I came in here to do what I'm supposed to do. And me coming into your life allowed you to be the exact person that you are, which is no good, grimy, hateful, heart, evil, malicious, malicious intent. And you, you people like that screw over good people and no, it doesn't feel good. Yes, it hurts. That is the story of my life. Many people lies out and came into that have drugged me, took advantage of me, drugged me through the mud, just for whatever reason, okay? Jealous, envy, whatever reason, whatever reason that they have done these things to me, God was testing them and they failed the test. And at the end of the day, God works all things together for your good to those who love the Lord and who are the cause. So even though they drug you and manipulated you and played you and thought they was playing you and all that. All it did was add to your elevation and keep, it keeps them right exactly where they are. Don't nothing good come. Don't nothing good come from people who do things like that. And if it does come to you good, it's only temporary. God will not be mocked. Whatever a man, so whatever a man sows that in which he will reap you can't go around just treating people any kind of way you can't you can show choice but you're going to reap the consequences of that 
You're not going to get away with it. God te is testing so many. So many people have been tested with me. So many people have been tested with you guys, with the way that you, so many family members have been tested and they have failed to test. They failed to test when mama died. They failed to test after she died. They failed to test currently, not long ago. They failed each and every time. Because the way that you treat people tells everything about the intent of your heart and who you really are. I just thank God for the revelation. I thank God for the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I thank God that I have the strength to pull away. I thank God that I know who I am. And I thank God that I have a full understanding that I don't need nobody but the Father. As long as I got King Jesus, I don't need no else we are still signs 23 for the rest of 23 and until the next time inspire be inspired i love you guys god bless you